Hi boardies, welcome to Mass Games. Today I'm bringing you 50 through 41 of the top 250 board games of all time. And straight up in at number 50, we have got Ticket to Ride New York. This is the first of the small box games of Ticket to Ride. The one you can only play two to four players, and in particular, um, it's a lot shorter routes. It's much quicker, it's about half the time, if uh, not less than that. I've actually played this game in 80 seconds, two player. And I've even kind of tried to figure out the best score, is, which I think in my instance was a 71. So using taxis, using taxis instead of using uh, basically trains or other such things. And in particular in this one, um, you also score if you can cross certain parts, basically getting a tip for going different locations. A little convoluted to work that scoring, but not terrible. And an excellent looking rule book that I actually did think was just a leaf. I thought, who else put this here? And actually, after many attempts, we realized that's what it was. It actually comes with a score pad as well, and a pencil, and these nice looking taxis. So that's Ticket to Ride New York. Obviously, London followed on, followed by Amsterdam. Up next, of Mammalath. This is a game I saw on Board Game Arena. You can still play, you can see my video. It comes with this beautiful pencil case. I've got videos for this game as well. And if we go on here, we might well actually see them. Yep, here's my video for basically what it's all about. And that's very interesting, this chap here, who um, I also happen to know a bit. And uh, I'll come back to that in a moment. So, Mammalath. This is a very interesting abstract strategy game whereby you have these uh, locations basically representing a logger. You're basically representing um, you're in the Amazon forest. And what you're doing is you're going down and you're trying to basically clear a path, but you don't want to be getting animals in the way. So um, initially these are going to be scrambled and laid around. Uh, the black and white ones are for Mammalath Plus. We won't talk about them for now. We're playing the six by six grid and there'll be animals on there. And on your turn, you can either move three in a row of any type of animal, diagonally as well, or you can move all of one type of animal. Or, and again, if there's space, you can lay down one of your cones, one of your forest flags, let's say. As soon as you get three in a row of your color, you win. That could be that way or that way, but you lose if you get three in a row and there's an animal on top. So you've got rid of animals first. But you don't want to happen is your opponent come along and steal that space and then obviously you're on the back foot. I love this game. It's another game in the series called uh, Yavalath, which came up before that, as well as Manalath, which is like an AI derived computer based game that kind of found it out. Um, but this is basically an offshoot of that um, by um, Garth Fikes. And like I said, very impressed by this game. Um, really enjoy it. I've played it hundreds of times. i played it, I think, 14 times in a row. And apologies how slow this broadband is. Uh, it's switching over in about three days. The fan speed is also lower, which is why it's getting a bit slow. Uh, but yeah, Grant Fikes. This is by Nestor Games, if you want to get hold of the game. And like I said, I'm very impressed with it. And again, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. Show me enjoying it. Also, then hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Check more on the content. There's a playlist for this, there's loads of other great playlists, and also hit the notification to find more stuff. Check out the comments, I reply quickly, and also the uh, description. So this is Vindication, this is a Kickstarter game. That's really interesting, it's a sandbox game, and basically what you're doing is you're going out and you're trying to trying to vindicate yourself, which doesn't quite make sense for the theme. Uh, it should be called Redemption. Um, but you're trying to collect things with a set collection. Uh, interesting images here. So basically what we have in front of us is uh, various things you can work towards. You're starting on one side of this board, and maybe you're trying to get to the other side based on objectives. You're trying to get resources based on um, things next to you, convert it in different colors. And yeah, like I said, complete those objectives. It's a very nice game. Uh, the hexes and, and some things about it put me off a bit, um, but it works very well. I just feel that as great as the art is, the way in which you kind of move, I just felt it could be a bit more fluid, a bit like in um, Western Legends. So up next, I have Trajan. This is a very, very highly rated game. It's 95th of all time um, by Stefan Feld, a point salad game. And it's a very interesting game, involves hand management, Mancala, area movement, card drafting. And basically, this is just an image. And there's a lot to cover in these pictures. There's a few pictures I'm going to show you. But basically, you're going to have various pieces. You can get various different tracks and improve based on various places you can go, various abilities you can unlock, uh, various things that can give you more things. And you're trying to be the first person to, well, you're going to get points doing various different things. Here's this Mancala. You're basically going to move opposite and grab something else. You can get different tracks. Um, it's a very involving game. Uh, there's a lot to discuss. Um, 
it's not too complicated when you get into it but you get it's a point solid game you get points everywhere you go and uh, there's some key things to be aware of different things how you can score different things you want to work towards and obviously quicker than your opponent so up next we have the expansion for yogi guru it's a standalone game you don't have to play it with another game this basically adds some wild cards so you're saying right move, move your left foot above your knee and ultimately you need to try and do it before you know a card falls off and you arouse the game it adds some choices whereby you can basically pick what you want to do so wild card options you can say rather than your left foot you can say i want your left foot to touch something blue some nice variation there and uh, very very good game this is particularly by uh, well bez and um, gigamike is the uh, manufacturer the producer publisher and also comes in a tin up next unlock so this is the trilogy of games in this instance and we're talking about the dragon which is very cool very interesting you've got this kind of werewolf cinema thing which is very cool as well and again i don't want to be spoiling it too much because basically what's going on um there's a secret agent as well which i don't really remember this one to be honest but um yeah you basically can be infiltrating as agents to identify the mole i really don't remember playing um that one there so i'll have to look into that one but yeah very impressed with it let's actually just see which ones i played it does say i played it three times so are oh, the dragon interesting okay so i have played the others odd okay up next yogi uh, so funny enough um as much as uh, that expansion is really great you don't have to have it so again simon crusoe is the artist again um but yeah this is this party game whereby you're the first person to basically break a rule by not being able to balance something on your head so it's basically like twister or vertical twister very fun surprise it hasn't been nominated for anything it's done very well and um it just needs to get out there more obviously lots of plays i've played a fair amount um 18 probably on the front page i think that's fairly likely um but yeah, i don't know how many other people have played more than me so let's have a look oh why on earth is this oh so terribly sorry for this right there i am so up next i have tony powell's adventure or tony powell's treasure so mystery adventures this is the, one of the first ever unlocks I've ever played it's very nice this is the longest of those three in this particular box but it's very cool and um yeah it'll take you potentially a few hours again being an unlock there's potential for spoilers so i won't say anything but it's an escape room inspired card game using an app to basically maybe use that app to help you um solve and get out so that's that up next of Solkin, this is ranked 40th of all time and in Solkin, it's the first of the T sets of games the fifth one coming out in 2022 maybe 2021 since an old Mesopotamia, which involves um then to see again and this is the check games edition the rest aren't check games edition and basically involves um a rondelle so it's one of the first games that have rondelle that i'm aware of and basically yeah it's been nominated quite heavily on a number of different things you can see that's a fairly long list uh, worker placement basically you're going out you're looking to manage resources you can have a tech tree and you can go up various different tracks and as something moves around something's going to get cheaper to buy and of course you could use it but try and do it before your opponent and be aware that as you move something other things move too thankfully this just clicked for me as a game pardon the pun on this clicking thing here my first game i think my score is 55 and the winning score is 56 and if peter hadn't done something I actually would have won the game and as uh very flattered by the praise from tony who i guess doesn't always give me the praise for for how well i did uh, but yeah very much enjoyed it and uh, yeah very much would love, love to play it again so unlock back to unlock and this time we've got uh, some stuff in a scary bedroom and i think it's quite scary uh there's a dinosaur one which is cool and then we've talked about shizarazad's tale already so again if you're looking to play um a certain unlock exotic adventures might well be the one i think that's all i need to say for that one and that's it that's the next 10 done so you're really cracking up some high pure level grandness of gaming look forward to bringing it to you very soon all the best bye for now